wanted to show you our, our very good friend Scully, the young hyena that tends to hang around in our camp. But oh, there's old Scully. Hey Scully, how's it going? Feeling a bit nervous today. We are super close to it. Um, we just decided to try and relocate from from the dam to you know another point because our signal wasn't great and then we bumped into this young hyena and it's actually heading straight towards the camp now <laughs> looking very full I actually wonder if it hasn't had a bit of a a bit of a snack during the night let's take a little walk you can still see it very clearly so this is the the hyena that all the students you know know as Scully they've sort of named it that tend not to try and name the animals that cause problems in our camps but Humans are humans, you know, what can we say? We will give names to things. Oh, hey Scully. It's a very curious hyena and it's become so used to humans over the last, you know, year and a half or so that it's been around the camp that we sometimes see it on bushwalks and we always know because it's one of the hyenas that is not that worried about us on foot. And then these are potentially dangerous animals, of course. As you know, they have an incredibly strong bite force and they can hunt for animals on their own, but us as human beings standing up, it's not something that they would normally consider. So they're not really considered to be dangerous animals to humans on foot during the day, but at night, if you were asleep, it's a whole different story.